Class of 2022 and friends, family, and guests, I am happy to present to you Paloma Garcia Lee. Um, I'm so overwhelmed, I can't tell you. <laughs> um, there is so much to say, and so many beautiful words have already been said today. Um, when I found out, when I was asked to come here, uh, I, I'm so honored. I'm truly so honored and so surprised. Um, I, am in, I am entirely the person I am today because of my time at the school. And I'm so lucky to be second generation at this school. I will return here until the day I die to give back to this school. Um, I truly discovered who I am as an artist and as a human here. And it's just so full circle to be here today. And what I'm realizing in this moment is that words will fail me. They will. There will be no words that encompass the love and care and joy that I have to be here with you. Because this moment, though, it is a deeply full circle for me. It's more about. Um, being here to witness you and to experience you and to be on this campus in your energy, it's one of the greatest pleasures of my life. And when I think about success, I wrote, that, I wrote this at 2.30 in the morning, so we'll see if I stick to it, everybody. Stay with me. Um, when I think about success, I'm realizing in this moment that this is success, to be able to come and share this moment with you. This means more to me than any of that. This means more to me than any Broadway show, than any film, to just be here and to witness you and to share this day with you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for having me. Um, <laughs> truly. <laughs> um, I know no other way to do this than to just dive in. Uh, anyone in this room who encountered me at school, don't worry, I'm just as untraditional and as out there as I've ever been. Um, so I'm just going to dive in. Class of 2022, I'm gonna ask you to just close your eyes for a second. I'm just gonna ask you to ground in your body for a second and close your eyes. Um, just trust me and go with me. Everyone knows what they were getting into when they asked me to do this speech. Um, close your eyes and just take a deep breath. I want to ask you to think back to the moment that you first heard about UNCSA. The first moment that you heard about this school and maybe you had the thought that, gosh, maybe I could go there. Maybe I could be a part of this. Maybe I could train there. I want to go there. And then from that moment, there was the decision to apply. And you applied and you auditioned and then you waited. Just take a deep breath and remember those moments. You waited, and then at some point, you found out that you were accepted and that you would be attending this school. In that very moment, this moment was born. And I want you to take a real moment. I don't remember much from my graduation day here, so I'm really trying to make this a moment that you remember. I want you to thank yourself so deeply right now for the work that you put in in your time here, for showing up, for pushing through, for exploring, for expanding. It is not always easy, and you deserve to thank yourself for the time here. I want you now to just take a moment and open your eyes and look around you and realize that today, not only have you been accepted and gone through your time here at UNCSA, but you are now a graduate of the University of North Carolina School of the Arts. That is a dream realized, a dream you have already set in your life has come true and I just want you to take a moment and breathe that in to your whole body. It's really something incredibly special. I begin by saying congratulations. You are right on time. You are exactly where you, you are supposed to be. And I echo what was already just said, that you are needed in the world. The world needs you. The industry needs you. We need your art, your voice, your music, your movement, your ideas, your creativity. We need your tenacity. We need your authenticity. We need your openness, your instincts, and your new ways of thinking. There is so much room for you. And if you ever feel nervous entering a new environment or a new chapter like you are all walking into right now, I want you to deeply know that you are exactly where you are supposed to be. And the decision you made for next year, I know it wasn't easy, but the decision you made is the exact right one even if you haven't made a decision yet. I want you to know that you are needed where you are going. 
I want to say that again. You are needed where you are going. So please do not dim your light. Please do not shy away. Please show up in all your power, in all your eunice that you can, in all of your art and with all of your heart. I beg you to continue to be open, to challenge yourself and step into the next chapters of your lives with fullness and wholeness. I promise you, I sat exactly where you were 14 years ago, and I just promise you the journey is gonna be more beautiful than you can possibly imagine at this moment. What you will do, what you will create, what you will bring to this world may not even exist yet, and it may be coming from you, and you may be the people to bring it forward into the world, and we need that from you. So please don't shy away from it. I beg you to try to be too much, to fail, to knock on every door, to explore every opportunity. I beg of you to investigate the balance of manifesting and working relentlessly towards what sets your heart on fire and then also nourishing and replenishing your artists so that your quality of life and your health mentally, physically, emotionally is wonderful and strong. Please, please, please take care of yourself. I remember sitting here, well, not here, we were at the Stevens, Stevens Center, and I remember being so tired today and I can imagine you all are tired and dealing with so many emotions. I remember just completely in awe of the moment I was experiencing. You just ran a marathon, but what's so beautiful is that you're about to enter another, and so that requires deep care and taking care of yourself. Chapters are going to emerge and chapters will end, but the constant is this cycle of getting back to the beginning, back to the start, back to this fresh step out into a new chapter. So please, please, please take good care of yourself. This is so out of body, I can't tell you all. You are so magical and so talented. You have no idea. Maybe you have some idea, but even then I'll say you have no idea. And I say that in hopes to inspire you to continue to refine yourself and deepen that magic, to commit yourself so fully to the betterment of yourself that you better others by just showing up in a room and being vulnerably yourself. Please find each other out there. The bonds that you make here are going to astound you. 14 years later, the people that I met in my time at this school are the soulmates of my life. They are the people I come to when I need to be reminded of who I am, the artist that I am. You met each other in such formative years. Cling to each other and be good to each other and show up for each other. Promise to be there for each other. You will need each other. What I have learned time and time again is that life, period, life full stop, and life as an artist is not easy. It's not, but I promise you it's worth it. If you can commit to memory the love and the passion and the care and the soul calling that you all feel towards your art, cling to that like your life and your art depend on it because some days it's going to. It really is, it's going to. Life is going to unfold and surprise you in ways that you can't imagine now. You will have experiences so beautiful and so powerful that you're, you could burst. <laughs> and the coolest thing I think that I've realized is that um, you can achieve your wildest dreams and they are closer than you can possibly imagine. And these dreams that you have truly become dreams realized. And there's a really special power in realizing that. I would be lying and I would <laughs> regret if I didn't say that the journey is, is winding and there are times where you will not get things that you want. Um, I'm smiling, I'm smiling when I say that because what you will soon find is that some of those experiences are the most defining of your life and life will lead you in ways that you can't, you can't even fathom now the things that you're going to do but we have these ideas in our brain of the trajectory that we want and sometimes life will intervene and push you a different direction but you will end up exactly where you're supposed to be and it will all unfold. And even if you don't understand in the moment, you will understand later why things happened the way that they did. You are all writing your story already. You are all finding your uniqueness already. You are all experiencing high peak experiences and the impossible. All that you have gone through in the last few years is just astounding to me. I wanna say that this school is better for encountering each and every one of you. I mean that. Your teachers are better for experiencing you, for witnessing you. Your peers are better for knowing you. 
that's just something that you must take away, is that you were so needed here. You were so destined to be here and be here today. It's so beautiful to realize that. In conclusion of this long and very winding journey that you all have followed me on, that truly I sat up last night, I've, re I've written and rewritten what I wanna say so many times, but again, I find that wor words just fail. It's an honor to be here, it's an honor to witness you and to experience this just incredibly special moment. I want to affirm class of 2022. This is important that I read exactly what I wrote for this. You are arriving right on time. You are exactly where you are supposed to be. You have time. You will accomplish every single thing that is supposed to be accomplished in your life as an artist and a human. Every single thing you've laid awake at night and dreamt is more possible than you can even imagine. What lies ahead of you are moments that are simply going to take your breath away, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I beg of you to wildly, with as much curiosity, as much openness and abandon as you can, enjoy the journey ahead of you. With glittering eyes, every single human being in this room is watching you rise, has hands extended to help, to support, to be here for you. Just truly, from the bottom of my soul, congratulations. Thank you for having me. Please, for lack of a better phrase, leave no meat on the bone and go out into the world and just take and change the world. And don't shy away from any bit of your uniqueness. I beg of you. Thank you for sharing this moment with me. I love each of you. I'm in awe of each of you. Class of 2022, congratulations.